All right. Well, I'm sitting around. I figured I'd poke and prod inside of this thing. This is a little nicer than mine. This is actually a door here. But, yeah. Opens like that. Just keep it closed to keep the noise down. Uh, we got sliders here. Let in the fresh air. Communicate with people on the ground. Here's our uh, control panel. Um, the only one I really use a lot is the hydraulic pressure, pressure release and changing the variable flow when I use the attachment for digging. Uh, press to operate loader. This you have to press every time. Um, I don't really mess with the traction lock override. There's the parking brake there. Uh, let's see if I can get the flash on for you guys. Um, no, it's not coming up for me. Oh, we got a little mirror there. Uh, that's not stock. That's that's something somebody stuck on there, the owner. And here's the panel. This is what ours doesn't have. So we're going to take a look at this real quick. This thing has... There we go. This thing has more options than your car does. So let's see if we can get a good view of it here. You know, I've never... Uh, flip through this before but let's take a look at tools here what do we got loader features activity warnings owner utilities let's take a look at owner utilities oh no I don't want that exit loader features let's take a look at this okay display options attachments can you see this okay let's try to get this the problem is, is there's not a lot of room so I really can't see what I'm doing. Attachments. Press enter to continue. Uh, use of the attachments without instructions. Read enter. Okay. So now. Let's, let's see. Auger. Backhoe. Uh, something. Backhoe. Box blade, breaker, brush cat, chipper. Oh my god, this thing's got everything. Combination bucket, uh, concrete mixer. Love those things. They actually never work. Um, crusher. Ooh, crusher. Um, some other type of bucket that I can't tell. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of options. Let's hit in, info on this. Okay, what do we got here? Okay, so it talks about attachment oper operations and blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I'm going to actually exit out of this stuff. So, yeah, these things are pretty advanced. Um, I'll go back to that. Take a look at vitals. Oil pressure, the machine's off right now, so the stuff should read zero. Coolant temperature, uh, hydraulic charge pressure, hydraulic oil temperature, voltage, speed, all the good stuff. I'm going to exit out of this. And we're going to shut this down. Exit. Okay. So I'm just going to hit stop. All right, that turns off the display. Now how these drive is through these handles here. If I push this forward the tires that are right outside of here move forward if I push this one forward the tires on this side move forward so if I want to turn I push this say full forward and this one three quarters of the way forward I will turn left because these tires are moving slower if I want to spin around in one place I pull this handle back I push this one forward and I will zero turn, meaning I'm turning in a radius of zero. To control the bucket, and you're probably not going to be able to see down there. Okay, here we go. There's this, this right here. This is a big rocker switch. And without actually having something on, I think this side, you get so used to it, it's hard to explain to somebody. But if I lean this back, that'll lift up the bucket down there it'll go up. There's fork sitting inside of a bucket. So that'll go up. If I push it forward, it'll go down. And with this side, and again, I could have them backwards. You just, you get so intuitive of using them and it's not on. Um, this side, if I push this forward with, with my toe, 
up here, it pivots from right there. That'll tilt the bucket forward. And then if I use my heel, it'll pull it back. So there's nothing really intuitive about driving one. They're a lot of fun to drive. They really are. Um, but it takes a lot of skill to get good at using one of these. Um, I'm not really all that great at it. I can do jobs and I can get them done. There are better operators out there than me, though. Um, they get it done quicker and maybe a little bit better than I can pull off. I just don't really have a lot of time where I'm doing it. My main job is hauling the materials, being the ground guy, raking, keeping an eye out for hazards, using transits, measuring stuff. That's my main aspect of it. I'm not the primary machine operator. I can use it when I have to. I can use it for servicing. I can use it for basic stuff. And I, I could pretty much use it for any job. It's just other people can do it better. So I leave it to them. So that's a walk around of uh, how to use a bobcat.